take that point across to Nikhil, who's reporting from the national capital. Nikhil, as far as protests, even you've been reporting from Ground Zero the past couple of few days, we know with the fact that these have intensified, but we're also given to understand a clamp of it have called off these protests, but not everybody in the national capital. If you could help us draw perspective on that front and tell us where you're reporting from. So, Nivedna, currently we are reporting from outside the Ames Hospital, which is one of the prominent central government run uh, healthcare facility in the capital city. And after a couple of months, you usually get your uh, uh, overall slot as far as the OPTs are concerned. But even after that, the situation appears to be crippling mm. right at this particular place uh, because the OPTs have been uh, not in services and this is something because of the uh, nationwide strike which is correctly taking place and the impact of the same can clearly be felt not just at the AIMS facility but there are other of the prominent uh, healthcare facility in the capital capital city which are equally affected and just opposite to aims facility there is also another prominent hospital which is central government run uh, facility which is the sabdarjang hospital that is also the place where the services have been uh, affected and what we have been given to understand is that not just the opds but also the crucial surgery they have been equally impacted. In fact, we are learning that there is health care institute as well in the capital city. Many of the people have been denied for the chemotherapy. So you can imagine the extent, the plight with which the patients and their family members are currently going mm. through. If we talk about the overall developments, yesterday night, uh, a delegation of the FODA, the MET Union Health Minister, J.P. Nadda, and after that, they have called off their strike. But there is allegation which is being made. There is word which is out from the side of the remaining RDAs. They are saying that while calling off the strike, the FODA did not speak to any of the other relevant association or the unions in particular. So all the RDAs, be it AIMS RDA, uh, RML RDA, Sabdarjan, and few others, they are going to continue with their strike. That means the services are going to remain uh, not operative in that particular context. Also so what we have been given to understand that uh, between 10 to 11 a.m., that means in a short while from now, there is general body meeting as far as the RD doctors are concerned in the AIMS facility. They are going to come up uh, as to what exactly their further course of action uh, is going to be. But to conclude, there are three major demands which are coming out from the side of the doctors who have been continuously protesting. Uh, first and foremost, which is the primary demand. They are saying that they want the constitution of the committee and drafting of the Central Health Care Protection Act. This is uh, what they are saying that this is on the primary demand. Another one is the smooth transfer of case to the Central Bureau of Investigation. However, we are learning that the FIR has already filed by the CBI officials here in the capital city, although the investigation is to start and the last point is which is being raised by them that they want the set principle to be suspended yesterday the high court have clear cut given the directions that he, he is not uh, allowed to remain in any of the authorized position he has been sent on the long leave but rd is on the other side doctors who are protesting on the other side they want him to be suspended at the earliest so once these three demands are met hmm. until these demands are met Till that time, the protests are going to continue, at least from the side of the Resident Doctors Association here in the capital city. Back to you, Vietnam. Right, Nikhil, as you draw perspective as to what those demands are essentially in the national capital, stay with me. I'm going to come back.